Hello everyone, it's Tracy and I am back for another video and still isolated, still trying to think of things to do, but I thought that I would share. So I have, oh, sorry, I have wanted to try a French press uh, coffee for a long, long time. And so I finally bought what I needed to do just that. And I thought that I would take you with me. So if you do French press, let me know if there's any tips or tricks or whatever, but I am going to try it for the first time today. And then I'm also gonna show you a couple other things that I bought in while isolating, because why not? So here we go with the French press. So this is what I got for the French press. And that is Mr. Coffee, who I usually use every morning. And I have had that, had that for years, but I'm ready to upgrade. So I just got these at Target and I don't think they were very expensive, like $20 I think for the grinder and 20 for the French press. And this one, so this is what kind it is. It's the only kind of beans they had that I saw at Target. And then I had this, so I am going to put the beans in there because I think it will be easier to get to them. Let's open the boxes and see what happens. Beans all over. Okay, I washed everything out. I put my beans in there, and now let's grind the coffee. Okay, I ground them, and now I'm going to put them in there. I have the water steaming here. It's ready to be poured. I'm gonna pour it, and on the video that I watched, said to fill it not all the way at first so we'll do that and then you stir it and I guess it's called letting it bloom the coffee grounds and so you do that for 30 seconds so I'll let that sit for a little bit okay let it sit for about 30 seconds and now I'm going to fill it rest of the way up to about here and then I'm the person I watched he was a expert I'm not sure how this works oh okay and I'll just put that on there and then you let it sit for four minutes so I'll do that now okay it's been four minutes I am going to push this down mm -hmm. And then pour my coffee. I don't know, looks pretty good to me. It's kind of a pretty cup of coffee. Now, the taste test. Okay, my first homemade French press cup of coffee. It smells good. Honestly, <laughs> that tastes so much better than my Mr. Coffee ever could taste. Um, yeah. It's a success. And now I'm going to show you just a couple other things that I bought while isolating um, to just to help me in my, well, I don't want to say health journey, but things that I've been wanting to try that I finally had the time to and what I've thought of them. So I'll, I'll show you what's next. So this, or should I say these, air fryers. I have been wanting to try an air fryer for a long time. And these are, I don't know, this one, I got these at Target. This one is PowerXL. And this one, 
doesn't say on it, but it's the Chefman Air Fryer. And they both come with recipe books. And honestly, um, it has been a game changer for me. So I've been wanting to try an air fryer for a long time and what these do, and I'll tell you why I have two. So my daughter was home uh, with her friend from college recently and I had wanted to try one and she was talking about um, trying one. I don't know if it was at her girlfriend's house or what, but the concept is, is that it heats it so without oil and uh, it's like crispy, whatever you put in there. And it's amazing. So I had originally gotten the smaller one and then in, you know, you can see there's like different size of those. And what we realized, oh, sorry, I just made vegetables in that last night. They made, honestly, every night they would make something out of one of these, um, like recipe books that come with it. They made the um, shrimp like coconut covered shrimp and they made salmon in it you can make I've been making I'm gonna show you in here um, these I eat these these morning star they're chick patties they're veggie patties and they what a difference and it only takes honestly it cuts out so much time it only takes like four minutes. I put these in because they're frozen. I think I put it in for four minutes and then I turned it over and I put it in for another four minutes and it was crispy and it was great. And again, there's no oil or anything and I had gotten them like tater tots or um, I got them french fries. They never got to the french fries. So I had to be me. Out of the freezer um yes so i highly 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 recommend an air fryer and if you're wondering like i was when i was at the store if i should buy the smaller one or the bigger one at first definitely go with the bigger one because you are going to use this and if you're going to feed more than one person um, this definitely is what you're going to want but now I have two of them. So now I can make two things at the same time. So all the better. Okay. And also, so I am not a big meat eater. I just have never been. I mean, I'll eat chicken and like turkey burgers or something like that. But it's not, I don't eat steak. Um, and it's more just a preference. I just don't like the texture of it. Um, but, and I was reading, I read a headline. I didn't read the article about how now with everything going on that um, because the meat plants have had to close because of all this uh, that there's going to be a shortage of meat which is probably good for the cows and the chickens and you know those things but and i've been wanting to go uh, you know i'm not a vegetarian uh, but you know like i said with all this going on i'm rethinking everything and even it's given me time to try new things to be more healthy and then do them in a quicker way like with the air fryer so yesterday i was at walmart and i got these that i'm going to try and i'll do a video i'm going to do a taste test and i'm going to cook them in the air fryer and then i'll do a taste test of them so i'll let you know uh these are falafel balls <laughs> Um, and I've had falafel before, but uh, I thought that I would buy these. It, that sandwich really looked good that they were in. And I love meatball sandwiches. If uh, you've ever been to Subway, that is my favorite sandwich. But there are a lot of like calories and everything in those. So I thought for home use, um, I would try those. I got some, it's called Smart Deli uh, Light Life. Uh, plant-based deli slices and it's turkey and there's 14 grams of protein in each slice and so that's another thing too you know people think that you can only get protein from meat uh, or like nuts but uh, it's amazing how much protein is in this plant base so I'm gonna try that and I'll let you know and one other thing I have been wanting to try for a long time so I believe I've had tofu before but 
I can't remember and it was mixed in with something and I am going to try tofu and I know it doesn't taste like anything to begin with but you season it and stuff and it's supposed to taste like meat and this was less than two dollars and this is a big container of tofu and it's firm and it's this kind and you know when I was looking for the tofu I was looking um, just in case some people don't know like I didn't know uh, oh and I bought this too just a little pause on this uh, nut pods French vanilla um, unsweetened dairy free I got that at Walmart too and it's really good um, it's vanilla French vanilla anyway so um, the tofu oh I was looking for it in the place where I found like the you know plant-based stuff uh, the meats and everything like that and where the vegetables were and uh, I asked somebody and she said it was by the produce and she looked at me like how did you not know that so if you don't know now you know it was over by the produce so I'm gonna try the tofu and I will put them all in my air fryers and I will taste test them on an upcoming video oh and one one more thing where'd it go um, this so being in quarantine turn around here uh, I haven't been drinking a lot of water like I used to like if I was sitting at a desk or something and I got this it's Pogo I got this at Target and it has really made drinking water a lot easier you know that's like a straw mm. and that's what I do and you know there's 32 ounces in there and like for the last three days I've been drinking three or four of these during the day and it's really helped me I've been having headaches um, and it's really helped with that and I'm sure because I've been dehydrated and then I always keep I love to look at this because I think the colors are so pretty but um, I put and they say too with this going on vitamin C helps a lot I am taking double the vitamin C in my daily vitamin intake and then I've also been eating these but in my water I cut half a lemon and I squeeze it in there and then I just leave the other half in the fridge for later when I fill it up and I forgot one more thing I just got this yesterday and I have been wanting to get one for a long time again and with I've cleaned out my basement I've cleaned out my garage I've cleaned out closets and I have needed this for a long time and I finally got one and this is it. It's a paper shredder. This only cost me $30 at Walmart. Uh, but, you know, I have old taxes. I have stuff that, you know, needs to be shredded. And I know a lot of times you throw things away and you're like, oh, it'll be fine. But, you know, better safe than sorry. So I think this was a good purchase and I already have a bunch of stuff that I need to shred. So just wanted to show you that too so there so that's it I just thought that I would share some of the things that I have purchased that I've been wanting to try for a long time and everything has been uh, a really good purchase for me and again it's kind of in my health journey I've realized through all this honestly that um, you know the body is like, let's say, like a washing machine. It's a machine. And you, you really have to take care of it. And, um, you know, I don't want to say spending extra money, but these are things that I want to incorporate in my daily life. Uh, like I said, the air fryer, you know, it's less time and you don't have to use oil or anything and it makes things crispy. And, you know, more water, if that'll help me do that, then it's a good purchase. The coffee, I just feel better grinding my own beans and, um, you know, boiling my water and then just having it straight like that. So again, just little things that, you know, throughout they'll just become habit. And I think that it'll make a big difference. Um, you know, I don't know physically, but even mentally that I'm putting the effort to do those kind of things. So, all right, that's the end to this video and I will be trying the, um, the tofu and stuff coming up soon. All right. Well, I hope you're doing good. Be nice to people. Uh, stay healthy. Stay in. And have a great day. All right.
Garcia.